74th Annual Orlando Hamcation, sponsored by the Orlando Amateur Radio Club, the second largest show of its kind in the United States. Picture 115 commercial vendors, 260 swap tables, over 300 tailgate spaces, and more than 24,000 attendees. We actually have 43 acres of free parking on site. So they can get out of their car and walk in from wherever they are, wherever they park? Correct. And if they uh, don't want to walk, we're actually having uh, golf cart shuttles. manufacture all the metal so we make all the metal we have a workshop in Orlando we're based off of mid Florida technology so we make all the metal there are standard parts you have to use like that battery and this processor right here but um, everything else you're pretty much free to do whatever you want based um, it's just based on the limits of the game so some games you can't go over a certain height some games you can't go a certain width stuff like that you can't be a certain weight so and, and what grade are you guys in? Uh, we're all high schoolers, so from 9th to 12th. Awesome. But we do have, there are programs for other kids. Like there's a K through 8 program, which is Lego, Lego Robotics. So what they do is they build um, these sort of Lego, Lego robots and they try to, they program it to do certain tasks around the field. There's middle school, which is called FTC. And what they build robots like these that are made of metal and things like that, but they build smaller size robots. So robots that are like the size of RC cars, kind of. Cool. And so we have these big robots, which are more high school level. And how long did you say it took to make this one? Um, we have a time restriction of about six weeks before we're required to bag it up. Awesome. And ship it to competition.
Amcation is open Friday and Saturday 9 to 5 and Sunday 9 to 2. The ticket booths and real call window open at 8. Tickets are good for all three days and there's lots of free parking available on site. These are the ones that don't take a license, these little guys who can use for hobbies, but this does take a license. And then you go outside the city of Tenaha. The road is closed north and south of Colonial Drive. Please use Mercy Drive as an alternate. And this just in, the east gate is not open. The east gate will not be open for your use at Hamcation this year. Once again, east gate, not open. The general days and hours, Michael, are? The hours are Friday and Saturday, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m., and then Sunday will be 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. You're listening to what the FCC calls a Traveler's Information Station, or a TIS station. It's a non-commercial licensed service that the Commission makes available to governmental entities and private medical response agencies under Part 90 of their rules. Originally just available on the 530 and 1610 kHz frequencies, when the expanded band was added in the 1990s, all AM frequencies were opened up for TIS licensing on a secondary basis. These stations operate with a maximum of 10 watts and 2 millivolts per meter allowed at 1.5 kilometers. Vertical antennas are limited in height to 15 meters. Typical range, 3 to 5 miles in most kinds of terrain. The bandwidth of the service was originally restricted to 3 kilohertz, but that was widened out to 5 by petition by a nonprofit group, the American Association of Information Radio Operators, AAIRO, in 2015. This is your Hamcation Information Station, 610 AM, WRFB 379. They say radio is on its way out, but not here. Orlando Hamcation Information Radio, AM 610. Hey, if you're from up north like I am, we got to find a way to bottle this weather and take it back with us. Saturday, sunny and 71. Sunday, sunny and 75. 